Most of the requests that I get for tutorials are problems that I've bumped into myself. But I have to admit, when it comes to creating an animated GIF, it's something I'd never done in Photoshop before. So let me show you what I came up with. I learned a lot along the way, but I'm sure there are a lot of things I missed too, so I'm counting on you to point out some of your tips and tricks to me. So let's start in Bridge, where I can hit the space bar and see my simple two frames that I want to animate. I'm going to try to make this little guy bark in an animation. Now we'll move over to Photoshop and link them together. In Photoshop, I want to come down to Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Essentially, that's just making multiple files layers. I'm going to select my files. And while I can align these here, I'm going to show you how to do it manually in Photoshop. Photoshop will load those two files in as layers. And I can toggle them and confirm that they're pretty far out of alignment. So I'm going to shift click them, come over here to Edit, Auto Align. I'm just going to leave that on Auto. And all of the common content will line up now. So now when I toggle it, it looks much better. Now I'll just take my Crop tool and crop any of the overlapping areas. It's a good opportunity to come in a little bit tighter on this guy here. The next thing I want to do is come down here to my timeline. And I've got a couple of different options here. I can create a video timeline or a frame animation. I'm going to create a frame animation. And I'm just going to ignore what I see on the left there. And I'm going to come over here to the flyout and make frames from layers. It's going to take those two layers and create frames. And those frames, we're going to change the time. Let's go with 0.2 seconds for each one. And let's have them loop forever. And when we're ready, We'll play that back. That's a little fast. Let's go back and change to half a second. Looks good. That's what I intended to do. OK, so now when we're ready, we need to get the GIF out of Photoshop. And for that, we're going to go to Save for Web. We've got a few different options here. I've selected GIF, and I haven't changed anything else. I'm just going to save this, and let's call it Bark. Now, theoretically, I should be able to take that GIF and drag it onto any web browser, and the animated image should play back. Let's see what happens. Here's my file, and I'll just drag that onto my web browser. Browser launches, and I get exactly what I was hoping for. So, this is a really popular aesthetic. You see it all over the place. I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but I learned a lot in creating mine. And again, I'm hoping you'll share some of your feedback and tips and tricks with me.